you call that a... You're the one that wants to use G519's body? I... I just don't have the caps to keep her alive anymore. Life support ain't easy or cheap, you know? I was gonna pull the plug on her. What you're proposing sounds... a little better. Better than letting her rot. Both options suck, really. Thanks. That makes it easier. Since G5 has no one else... For what it's worth, you have my consent. Thank you. I know this must be difficult. Yeah. I'll... leave you to it. Curie. Let's begin. Curie. Terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I... I... my chest... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. Is that really you, Curie? Yes. You sound so different with these ears. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Borrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed. Very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? She sounds good, Doc. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. Please, let me see and scan as many indigenous life forms as possible. It is, of course, for science. Need something, hey. yes? Um, hey, got a sec? Remember, to breathe. I keep thinking if I forget to do this, no more curry. And suddenly, all this excitement we do. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair this now. Here's some advice. Keep your limbs attached from now on. <laughs> I will do so. That was strange. I laughed. I... I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Luke? Sure. Yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the Pip-Boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. Normalcy is a bit of a relative concept in the Commonwealth, but okay. I can work with that. So you've seen the Commonwealth. Diamond City, how does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks. Okay. That's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, 
The big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that, that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Is it over? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Of course you are. Was still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. What is this place? Not from around here, huh? This is the combat zone. Finest arena in the Commonwealth. More'll come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now. Now, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. What'd you think of Kate's work? She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. Here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Me? And him? Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Hey, Kate. So, you're ready to head out? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. I think if you travel with Kate, you may need to bring a little more ammo. You're just jealous because you'll be missing all the fun. Hey. What's in your mind? Your thoughts? I see how you're looking at me. Not saying I don't like it. Just thought I'd clear the air. Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. I don't know if you care about me, or if you just want to use me to soak up the bullets for you. I guess only time will tell. That was all. Fine by me.